So iMessage has kind of completely changed within iOS 17. So I kind of want to give a quick breakdown on exactly how to use it because it's pretty basic, but it's still kind of a big change. So iMessage pretty much still looks the same when you're actually scrolling through and you're still, you know, within this panel. If you click on edit, the same little drop down comes down from the top right or top left. On the top right, if you go ahead and, you know, want to type a new message to somebody, you can always do that. And you can always type in their name above and basically type in their, you know, information at the bottom. Now, the big things that have changed are basically within the actual panel itself. Now, you can see right here, if I actually open up this specific panel, you can see that at the very bottom, we do now basically have a new you know, set of options. So we can now click this plus button right here, and this will now basically bring up all, all the, you know, our, this will now basically bring up all of our little like app icons that we had before. So here we can go and click plus, and what's going to happen is we're going to have all these other applications that we have now, so what we can do is we can go ahead and scroll down and we can see all the applications that we have on our device right now. So we can see store, images, check-in, digital touch, music, so many other you know, applications that you have. Are, and these are basically our iMessage applications. So if you play like Game Pigeon games or whatever, those things will come up right here. And you should be able to come here and see them all via this page right here. So that's another really big option and kind of thing to keep in mind. Now under iMessage, you can just type as you normally would. Nothing has really changed here. So those things are still the same. Now, if you want to send a voice message that also is under this plus icon, you can click on audio and send a voice message. Now, this is dictation. So if you want to go ahead and basically send a message, what you want to do, if you if you want to talk in text, you can hold this down. And this is actually going to start texting and I can go and start typing and you know, sending an audio message if I want to. I can go and let go. And this will also be an audio message that I can send as well, which is honestly very cool. Now, instead, if you want to go ahead and basically send dictation, you can just click right here and this will, I can basically talk as I'm texting. That's another really cool thing that I have the capability of doing as well. And that is basically how you use the new iMessage. Those are basically the main changes. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.